The Northwest is seeing a spike in earthquake activity from Mount St. Helens earlier this year to more recently Mount Adams in southern Washington. But could these quakes foreshadow something bigger? King's King 5 Savannah Welch shows us the answer from experts. When you look at Mount Rainier, what you might not know is that at any given time, there are a number of small earthquakes happening, ranging anywhere from 0.5 to 2.0. Mount Rainier and other volcanoes in the Northwest are seeing more action, and scientists are watching. The Pacific Northwest, especially west of the Cascades, is a real earthquake hazard zone. The Northwest, also known as earthquake country. And in the last nine months, that couldn't be more true. In September, there were six earthquakes at Mount Adams, which usually only sees one every couple of years. Mount St. Helens also made headlines with 350 quakes between February and June. And the biggest of 2024, July 6.4 magnitude earthquake off Vancouver Island. But is all of this normal? In terms of like activity this year, I don't think there's much we've seen that that would surprise us. Jackie Kaplan Auerbach is a seismologist and professor at Western Washington University in Bellingham. She says that while these earthquakes may be alarming, it's actually business as usual. Sometimes when activity picks up, again, it's kind of on our minds, we get nervous that maybe this is, you know, a, a sign that something bigger is coming. We have never in sort of the history of studying earthquakes seen patterns that indicate something larger is coming. But scientists say that doesn't mean we shouldn't be prepared, especially for the big one. In the future, we expect to have a very large earthquake that comes from offshore. The other side of the coin is that that could happen anytime from literally tomorrow, but also 200 years from now. University of Washington professor and director of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, Harold Tobin, says they're bracing for the potential for a 9.0 earthquake from the Cascadia subduction zone. He says that, along with past earthquakes like the 2001 Nisqually earthquake, are reason enough for people to be ready. I think I kind of give us about a, a, a B to B minus for our increased preparedness. We're certainly better prepared than we were at the time of the Nisqually earthquake. Buildings are built better than they were back then. We should be doing a lot more of retrofitting of older buildings and making just all the systems that keep our, our cities and towns going more resilient. New technology, especially artificial intelligence, is being used to detect earthquakes. Now, as for public warnings, these are critical. Wireless emergency alerts will be sent directly to your phone to warn those in affected areas. For Environment Northwest, I'm Savannah Welch. To see all of the stories in our When the Earth Shake series, text the word SHAKE to the number on your screen. That's 208-321-5614. And tomorrow on the News of Four, our Environment Northwest team wraps up our earthquake series by taking a look at how communities are staying prepared for the next big earthquake.